I have the privilege, and it feels such, such a privilege, to celebrate with you, no matter what is happening in the world and the way that it is experienced, that we are truly citizens and members we belong to an emerging transcendent nation. God bless America. Thank you for that beautiful classic rendition. I believe it's from Ed Sullivan. I hope I got that right. I didn't grow up in America, but I have been blessed to find the spirit of home so beautiful and strong. So I want to just offer a few blessings as part of the gift that I would love to share in this company. God bless emissaries of divine light. I am feeling so strongly the gift of who we are together, not defined by a structure, but actually being the bringers of the presence of the light of love into the spaces and in space of engagement, the way that we walk on this earth, the way we walk and share our lives with others. What a gift, what a privilege to be an emissary, a messenger, a, a bringer of the light of love that is the hallmark of every member of this transcendent nation. A nation that is in the process of birthing a new world. And didn't we all experience that together in the last five, six weeks in so many various ways? So many gifts. What a beautiful gift to be on the same page together in our lives. To know that we are about midwifing, bringing into being from the very essences of the spirit of who each of us is and the gifts that we uniquely bring to one another, we are weaving a generation of spiritual, a medium of connection and substance, which is powerful, poignant, and is interpenetrating and bringing transformation and healing into all the ranges of our lives. It takes a real act of love and devotion to the one overarching presence that is true for everybody in, in their lives. There's only one overarching presence. It's not about religion. It's not about belief systems. It's about attuning to the very source of our being and then recognizing together that we are one. We are one body. I feel like saying to us, let's place our hand, our hands on the shoulders of those that we would like to bring assurance to. I was in an aeroplane traveling from the UK to Cape Town just a couple of days ago. And this lady next to me was so um, elegant and gracious and engaged with me. And we toasted our dinner together. And she began to share, and I'm going to end now, but began to share, for whatever reason, that she's a religious person. And then she said, told me what her God was like. And she said, you know, my God is a God of light. My God is electricity. My God has fire. And I began to realize that she was talking as if she had read primal Christianity. So in the pocket in front of me on the airplane, I brought out this beautiful gift that we've been sharing with people in this last few weeks with you, David, and with your colleagues from Cana. And she looked at it and she said, wow, I've got to read that, took a photograph and she'll get it on Amazon. But we continued in sharing this gift of knowing how we belonged in a very special, unified place of knowing and loving. Love was at the center of our conversation. So the gift, the blessing, the influence of our spiritual presence this spiritual body, this transcendent emerging nation is the future for humanity, for humankind. We are agents for that birth.